in the ancient village of Luminaria nestled within the depths of an enchanted forest in a place long forgotten by time lived a pair of extraordinary twins named Aurelia and Caden. Born under the influence of the Gemini Zodiac, they possessed an ethereal beauty that bewitched all who beheld them. When they were born, their mother knew that they had a destiny. They were the living embodiment of celestial enchantment. As with all good things, though, with their birth came an extraordinary feeling of heaviness and weight. The people of Luminaria knew that these twins served a purpose. Something terrible was coming. Aurelia, with her delicate demeanor and graceful presence, possessed the ability to fragment the world into shimmering reflections. With a mere touch of her hand, the fabric of reality would splinter into a thousand glimmering pieces, revealing hidden dimensions and untold mysteries. Caden, the mischievous and adventurous counterpart, had the power to navigate these fragmented realms with ease, his intuition guiding him through the labyrinthine corridors of the mind. Together, they were unstoppable. Their destiny had been laid out long before their birth. It had been foretold over and over again in myths and legends by the ancients. Chaos was coming, a darkness that crept into the everyday lives of the people of Luminaria. Every day things became stranger and stranger. Every day more and more things fell out of place. The chaos needed to be stopped, and that heavy burden fell upon the twins. Together, they embarked on a journey, venturing into realms unseen and unimagined by mortal eyes. They danced through mirror-laden forests where the whispers of ancient spirits echoed, and the very air shimmered with a kaleidoscope of colors everywhere they stepped. They reveled in the fragmented beauty of existence, for within each reflection lay a new story waiting to be unveiled. But not all stories are happy, and not all tales have a happy ending. One fateful evening, as twilight draped its mantle over the land, Aurelia and Caden stumbled upon a forgotten doorway concealed within the gnarled roots of an ancient tree. The doorway exuded an aura of mystery, its surface rippling with potential. Where did it lead? Maybe somewhere better. Maybe somewhere where they could find hope. A solution to the chaos that encroached on the horizon like a black cloud. Curiosity ignited within their souls, and with a shared glance, they stepped into the unknown. The world on the other side unveiled itself a tapestry of reflections intertwining to form a realm unlike any they had ever witnessed. Stars danced upon the surface of rippling lakes, trees whispered secrets to the wind, and creatures of myth and imagination roamed freely. It was a world created of the fragments of their own desires, dreams, and fears. And it was there, in this fragmented reality, that chaos took form, and that form called itself Shadow Weaver. With his coal-black cloak and piercing silver eyes, he sought to harness their powers. Do you not realize the gifts which you hold? He asked. With these fragments, you can create order, but equally with these fragments, you can shape chaos. Everything in the end will turn to chaos, he said. So come with me, take my hand. The Shadow Weaver reveled in the chaos and discord he could create by manipulating the fragmented reflections, distorting reality and sowing seeds of doubt. It had been he who had been planting these small seeds in the minds of the people of Luminaria. It had been this feeling, this cloud, this fog that Shadow Weaver had created out of discord and uncertainty that hung over the people of Luminaria like a weight. And uncertainty crawled its way into the twins' hearts as well. They knew that the words that Shadow Weaver spoke held some form of truth. They had seen it themselves in the worlds that they traversed through the reflections that they created. They had watched the miraculous births and deaths of universes. 
as great as the endless sky above them and as small as a grain of sand. Eventually, everything would return to chaos. Allow me to show you what kind of beautiful worlds we can create, Shadow Weaver offered. Caden's heart quaked at the proposition. He had thought about what it would be like to be alone, unknown. At the end of the journey, when everything was settled and the fog was gone, the people would not need them anymore. And without chaos, without that uncertainty, they would mean nothing. If the twins could use this chaos, use the fragments that they created and danced through like small sunbeams sparkling off the top of a lake, then perhaps they could continue to weave their own stories, take control of their own destiny. But Aurelia stood firm. She knew that what the Shadow Weaver said, while true, was not the only path forward. She knew that because they had seen the deaths of so many universes, watched so many worlds fall into chaos, that there was always a singular certainty that lay beyond that threshold. Order always followed. And even though the reflections that they created and the paths that they walked seemed scattered, disorganized, and without reason, there was always a reason. Every single reflection held its own beauty, its own value, and every single reflection would end up doing what was most natural for it without the influence of chaos. And this is where Shadow Weaver had gone horribly wrong. Shadow Weaver was using the fragments to inject chaos where it did not belong, where it had not yet come to its natural time. Aurelia took Caden's hand and sent an unseen signal between the two of them. She knew that he would make the right decision in the end. And through their collective will, Aurelia and Caden guided their fragmented world toward unity and wholeness. They learned that it was not the perfection of the reflections that mattered, but the stories that they wove within them. Each fragment held a lesson, a revelation, a mirror into the depths of the human experience. This was something that Shadow Weaver and his obsession with chaos would never understand. Their journey resonated with the hearts of those they encountered, inspiring others to embrace the fractures within their own lives and find beauty in imperfection. The twins became beacons of hope among the worlds, guiding lost souls through the labyrinth of shattered realities and reminding them of the boundless power that resides within. Shadow Weaver, discouraged by the lack of cooperation from the twins, decided to take matters into his own hands. With a single push, he shoved Aurelia and Caden into a fragment of his own creation, a fragment of pure chaos. This fragment was dark. No kaleidoscope danced along the ground. No stars fell from the sky. No sun dipped below the horizon. It was only nothingness. The twins recognized this space as the moment before the spark, when chaos had had its way, and it was breathing, waiting, longing for the moment when the world would start anew again. This place, though, was frozen in time, stuck at the before. The twins wandered endlessly for what seemed an infinite amount of time. Time was impossible to tell in this place. Had they been there for moments, years, lifetimes? They wept. They wept because they knew that they would never see the beauty of the fragmented, reflected worlds that they had once danced among. They wept because they knew that the people of Luminaria would eventually succumb to the fog of doubt and chaos that Shadow Weaver was creating. They wept because in this darkness they could not see each other's eyes and the love that they held for each other there. But Caden would not give up. He knew that there was a way to escape this shadow realm, this realm of twilight, and reemerge into the fragmented world of chaos that Shadow Weaver had created for himself. In a desperate attempt to escape, even though they did not have the materials to do so, he encouraged his sister to try to pull a reflection from nothing to create a world out of thin air. It is impossible, she said. Without blueprints, Without a fragment of hope, without anything to grasp onto, I cannot create this reflection for us to step through. Don't you see? Caden asked. Even though he tried to put us in a place where nothing existed, where no fragments of anything were left, 
He forgot one very important detail. And what is that? Aurelia asked, taking her brother's hand. We are here, Caden said, and we are together. With a strong embrace, Aurelia created a reflection like none they had ever seen. Aurelia and Caden stood upon the precipice of a piece of reflected light that showed only themselves, their faces, their hearts alight with gratitude and wonder. As they shot through the reflection like a comet, they shattered Shadow Weaver's realm of doubt, sending him fragmented just as he had fragmented everything else piece by piece into all of the different worlds that they had visited. Finally, the universe was at peace. They had embraced their destiny as guardians of the fragmented realms, protectors of the fragile balance between chaos and creation. As they stepped back into their own world, they carried with them the wisdom gained from their journeys, forever etching the mark of the Gemini upon their souls. Finally, their journey was done, and they were able to rest. Aurelia and Caden returned to their home, peace in their hearts, and finally, the people of Luminaria could sleep without doubt. Chaos had been put at bay for just a moment longer, and it would not return until the time was right. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this short story that I wrote about the Zodiac Gemini. I look forward to continue to create more artwork inspired by the Zodiacs. What's your Zodiac sign? Comment below. Mine's Aries. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell icon to be notified when I post more videos, and give this video a like so that more people can see it. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you next time.